Hi guys, welcome to MBD Match Team TV. I've got um, a fantastic video to show you soon. Um, we've been doing a coaching session today at Aldica and our main objective was to get some of the monsters on the bank and let them enjoy the fishing like we all do. But we've um, done a bit of a bait um, demonstration and it's all about monster baits and dips new squid and octopus so i hope you enjoy it and pick up a few tips from brownie i've asked him to do this for me um it's a new product that's not long been out and it is an absolute fantastic diamond of a product and i know it's going to be a big hit so look out for monster baits and dips squid and octopus ground bait it will give you the edge and it is blooming marvellous. Hi there guys, it's Paul from MBD. Just on his way to Aldercar at the minute to go and do a little bit of junior coaching. When we're there later on we'll be doing some demonstrations on paste, slop and ground bait mixing. So stay tuned. Right, so this is the octopus, squid and octopus ground bait that MBD just brought out. It's a new one, so what I'm going to do today with Josh is show you how to make a paste, a slot and a ground bait for feeding. Right, so, here's what we do with a slot. We just add a little bit in there, Ian, if you have a look. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen it all. Now, the thing with this, if you mix it beforehand, you may have to add a little bit more water because it will absorb it. So you always put that to one side. And the same with your paste as well, but you don't add a lot of water to your paste because you can always add, but you can't take out. So it's just little bits at a time. And you don't need to mix loads of paste, so you don't need a lot of this ground bait either. And it's what you do, you need that. I'm going to show you the colour of this guy into a nice little ball. Absolutely amazing colour, texture that we brought out at Monster Paste and Germany. Now, is what I do with that now. I put that to one side and I let that set. And the same with your slop as well. If you've noticed, your slop's really gelled and absorbed all that water, so we can add a little bit more. All right, guys, thanks yeah, for watching. Show, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, I'll do lashes this side as well. On, on the bank. See you later, guys. So if you look at that, guys, now, it's still got, a, it's still got quite a heavy consistency. Yeah, so you just want to add a little bit more water. That was just when I fish my slot, I like, I like it to cloud. Page. So you want that cloud to hang in them upper layers of that water for as long as possible. Especially if you're fishing paste a bit naughtily, shallow. <laughs> I'll go into that ball. <laughs> right, so you see how that's, how that's now, now the consistency is like green snot. It's lovely. Right. So the same thing with your ground bait as well. It's a similar process. Yeah, I'm going to split that paste yeah. up. Right. So it's a similar process, but you're looking for a different consistency. What consistency? Are you so you want for? it light and fluffy. Something that's going to hold if you put it into a bowl or a cad pot to feed. You want it to get down to the bottom. So you want it a little bit more stodgy, not quite the paste consistency or the slot. You can put it through a riddle. But if you look at that, that's the consistency I'm looking for. So I can feed that into little balls. It's not too heavy and it will break up. The same thing with your paste. So that's all your ground bait up there. The same thing with your paste, after you've left it a while, you're able to take some chunks off as well. So if you want to put that on your on your rig as well. 
I always taught me to buck a guitar with a band and mould it. Why'd you put the band in, Josh? It uh, gives it more stability and it also moulds the hook better. Brilliant stuff. And on your yeah. paste rig, Josh, do you have any shot anywhere? So if you actually no. look at this ground no. bait as well, Ian, if yeah. you come round the other side, look, round this side, you can actually see how how that's breaking down on the bottom. And what's that? That's your... That's, that's the ground bait, that's the light fluffy one. So you don't want too much water, but you want enough to bind it. Yeah. Again, this is a different... This is your slop. So your slop's very gloopy. All right, a little bit more water down. And when that hits the water on this side, you can actually see how how that's breaking down on the bottom. And what's that? That's your that's that's the ground bait. That's the light, fluffy one. So you don't want too much water, but you want enough to bind it. Yeah. Again, this is a different. This is your slop. So your slop's very gloopy. All right, a little bit more water down. And when that hits the water, it should cloud. It should cloud like it is doing. And then you'd fish, Josh. Then you'd fish your paste. Always just over with that cloud. And then goes in like that. So your paste should be pliable enough to actually stick on your hook in your line. Some people do like it a little bit looser and a little bit more sloppy. But that for me is the perfect paste. Some jiggly in the bite, still not coming off. And when you get that fish, take that bait, it's your hook will pull straight through the bait, straight into the fish. So you can get those now for monster bait and dips online that's octopus and squid and that's it for me and you josh isn't it from mbd yeah. cheers guys cheers. Thank, you. thank you get control of the fish pull more out it might be touching for Of it, if it's only four bars. It's because I don't want to cook it. No, it's not. It's bigger than four, that. Uh, two, ounce, two ounce rope brownie. Yeah, it sounds it. <laughs> well done, Josh. Yes. Are you filming, Cheryl? Come on, lad, let's get it weighed. Waving to camera. TB floats taking it, mate. Beautiful. How did you find that presentation Mine on your ultra margin? It was gorgeous, to be honest. Yeah, it just sits right, and if fish are there, it don't waft the bar. Bro, make sure he's there, we? I think he likes the squid and octopus, don't you? Yep. Chucking down, down on that mat, mate. What, what did you say, Paul? Go on, girl. Put your pole down like I told you. Paul, stick with him. <laughs> He's not catching. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've got China on. I'm not having that. That's not seven pound eleven. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, it's three pound six something. Yeah, I'm just gonna tear zero, it off. Zero these again. If you just put your hand just on top of that fish a minute, Harry. Right, uh, right, zeroed. Yeah. Chuck him back in there, mate. That's it, buddy. I'd, I'd say that's a three pound. Four pound three, four pound four. Well done, mate. Yeah. Oh, right. no. You want to get that out and yeah. four, four, I'll have your picture four, four. taken, mate. Don't forget oh. finger in mouth. Foul up. And you'll just calm him, just calm him down. Yeah, I think it was foul up. We haven't been dark. Oh, mate. 
Yeah. I think yeah. I think you're straight to the yeah. for that. Kneel down with him, mate. And that's Monster Bates and Dips. Yeah.